Okay guys, uh, what's going on? As a continuation of the uh, part two of the addition job here. A uh, little update, I got the uh, air handlers hung in the crawl space here. Plumber's done all his work. Um, I'm getting ready to tie in that condensate line into this sump pump. I don't know if you can see it, but all the way down there, there's a three quarter inch PVC I ran to the sill plate. It's gonna run across here, boom. Drop down into that uh, sump pump pit. Um, funny thing is all that, uh, well, some of that work where I tied into that closet, um, that is going to be changed now because, uh, they're going to put a bathroom in that closet now. They've, um, so all that refrigeration piping that I tied into from the existing unit <laughs> has to be removed and rerouted. So that will be an extra on the job already. <laughs> Plus I have a, uh, I'll take you upstairs. That's that boiler that I tuned up. Uh, take you upstairs here and show you what's going on. So this was a, not great light here, but uh, this was a kitchen. Um, up here, there were steam lines running down because this is actually all going to be open here. There's actually going to be a kitchen island here, I guess. Um, but uh, yesterday there were some steam lines, one coming up here to tie into that steam pipe. And then there was another one, a uh, supply that came down there. You can see I got it plugged. And that went right, right here. I don't know if you can actually see the pipe. Um, and then they just informed me that this steam line needs to be moved because they want to bring the wall to here. This is a plumbing vent. So I told them, demo this wall out here and see if we can move it over. But until the demo guys get here, I have no idea. Okay, and this is the addition that we're doing. You can see up there my refrigeration piping, well, eight air conditioning piping running along the joist space there. And uh, that's that condensate line that's running down into the basement that I'm going to tie into now. So that air handler is going to, uh, it's a Fujitsu um, 12,000 BTU uh, air handler. It's going to be one of those um, uh, low temp models that runs down to minus 15 degrees. So that air handler is going to feed here. My plan is... I'm going to have a supply register here. Um, I want to have a supply register here. They're talking about building a bench, so I don't know if I can put the register in the bench or if I move it over here and put it underneath this window. And then it's going to branch around and we're going to do a hit supply branch in this bathroom here. And then for return, what we're going to do is um, there's going to be kitchen cabinets all along here. Cabinets, cabinets, this is for a refrigerator. So what we're going to do is return. I'm going to make like a plenum return underneath these cabinets. And then on the toe kick, we'll have uh, registers on there to return back to the air handler. So I think it'll work pretty slick. And then on that wall right there, my plan is to put in a um, wall mount uh, 9000 BTU um air handler that mounts on the wall the new style that mounts on the floor kind of looks like a little radiator i'll mount it right here so then this will heat and cool this area because we took there was a steam radiator here they wanted removed so what i could come up with is this will blow heating and cooling into this area here and over here and hopefully catch some of this dining room and then the rest of that air handler We'll take care of in here and hopefully we'll see how it works. Should work pretty good. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. Not really much equipment or anything, you know, or service stuff right now because it's all it's all just uh, running the uh, all the preliminary crap, you know. And I'm sure stuff will change. Uh, 
My other plan to tie this steam line is, is well, now that this is where the bathroom is upstairs, and they want to put a bathroom uh, over here. This is the outside wall. This is above in that closet where I was running the, uh, over here, this is where the, the wall is for the closet, I believe is right here. This is the toilet in the other bathroom. So the reason why they're doing the bathroom is because this is below the ceiling and they'd have to demo all this out to get this plumbing up. So, <laughs> so I'm waiting on, um, I, my plan is to run my two steam lines in here and then I can tie them back into this uh, steam piping right in here, run them right down this wall. Um, but I'm waiting to see what the what their plan is to do with the plumbing here and stuff, and then we'll go from there. So because they got to do some structural stuff too, you can see the you can see that when they originally put that in, they hacked that joist out pretty good. So they're gonna have to do some structural work in here too and everything. So this is gonna be a long drawn out project. I was hoping it was gonna be something quick, but the extras are piling up, which. You know, it is what it is. So, um, just wanted to give you guys an update. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I got the air handler hung. I'm gonna run that condensate line and I'm gonna uh, measure out all my duct work and figure out where all my hits are gonna be here. Drill the holes and everything, you know. And uh, so I'll take you guys along for that once I get the, uh, get a little farther ahead in the project. So, all right, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.